Welcome back to Mastering MMA. I'm Coach Lee here with you um, out here at the house today. So yesterday I got some horrible news. Um, our gym is shutting down. Um, it just can't make it with all the, uh, the stuff going on with this COVID-19. It's uh, gotten to the point where they can't pay the bills. And this is happening around the country. So, I just wanted to stop and talk to you all about it for just a minute. So, basically, this has been a huge part of my life for the better part of 14 years, I guess. And um, it's, it's absolutely crushing. And I know this is going on, you know, all over the U.S. It's happening to everybody. So, basically, I'm, uh, you know, going to be shooting out of the home gym still. We're going to keep this up. We're going to push through. And uh, hopefully we will reopen at some point down the line once we can get everything straightened out. So uh, I'm wondering what's going on with your all's gyms. Um, what have you all done to survive the uh, the lack of ability to train? Or it's I know it's different in different states, but we have been out for a few months and still not allowed to go back in. So. Um, I just want to know what you all were doing to deal with it. And if your gym is already shut down, um, how are you handling that? Like, what is it that you're doing to, um, get through it? Cause I know it's, it's, it's family, right? It's, uh, it's family that you get used to seeing, you know, constantly throughout the week and, um, things are going to be different. So we're trying to figure out what's going on there. Um. I got my home gym. I'm going to be doing some construction, so you'll be seeing that in the background. Um, I'm going to expand it to make it a little bigger, um, be able to hold a couple more people, and hopefully I can get some of these people back out here to the place, um, to my place, and, and get some work in and keep training and not, not completely lose, lose everything. Um, but my heart goes out to the owners, right? They, uh, they put everything they had into it, um, and it's nothing they could have done to do this, right? The governor won't allow anybody in the gym so it is what it is right they either had to break the law or go bankrupt and um it's a it's a horrible situation and it's happening uh, around the country um i've heard of very large gyms going under um you know big nice gyms just can't afford to keep going so it's going to put a definite hurt on martial arts as a community in general um I was talking with a guy today, like, who knows when we're going to start having um, smaller pro cards and um, amateur cards, right? It might be quite a while. Um, I'm sure a lot of those organizations are going to go under, and it's really not too much that can be done about it at this point from, from most people's standpoint. Um, but yeah, so we've got, a, we've got a major thing going on here. And I want to know, what do you all think we can do to, to keep this going, right? I mean, after things go back to normal, if, you know, say say I can even keep our gym up and going, you know, get started back up, you know, a group of us here, um, is there going to be a place for them to fight as, as amateurs to come up through the ranks? I know the UFC is pulling it off, but they've got millions and millions of dollars, which most places do not have that. Um, most organizations don't have that. Um you know, this is putting under, and it's not just martial arts, it's putting under all kinds of businesses. So, anyways, I, I want to know your all's opinion on this. Like, what can we do as a community to come out of this um, stronger and, and get to the next stage and keep this going? Um, I know I, I've got kids, and, and I want them to be able to enjoy this the rest of their life. Um, and if we don't have people coming up through the ranks fighting amateur and this and that and other how much talent are we going to miss out on um that would make it to the ufc right that are lost i mean there's nowhere for them to go so uh definitely in the comments let me know your opinions about this um and if you haven't subscribed hit the notification bell like i say i'm going to keep recording we're going to keep putting stuff out from the uh the home gym um i'm going to be finding a way to uh to make the home gym a little better we're going to be doing some other things out of the gym to uh clean it up give it more professional look and um hopefully get some of the fight team back out here 
to uh, to stay training together. Um, I'm not going to be able to house everybody, so we're going to figure it out. We might be doing something. Summer's coming up, so we're going to do some things to try to switch it up and and make things happen. Um, you know, and hopefully, uh, MMA Institutes. Will, um, it's not all the schools in Virginia either, by the way. It's the Harrisonburg one's the one that's shutting down. Um, hopefully the rest are able to make ends meet until they can get back to business as normal. So, anyways, we are going to uh, be putting some game plans um, into into play here the next couple weeks. Hopefully I can have um, a lot of the people from the gym out here and, and doing things. But let me know what you all are doing. Um, and I'm open to any suggestions at this point. Um, let me know how we can better our situation. If you've got an idea, spit it out here, right? Um, it might work for us, it might not, but it doesn't hurt for you all to uh, to give us some ideas. So anyways, I hope your school's making it through this. Um, if you're training at home, you know, keep watching, keep doing it, get your friends together. Um, hopefully once we get out of all this, you can find a school that, that fits what you need. So. Um, I haven't heard about the other schools in the area, but I'm pretty sure some of them are, are hurting too. I, I heard some of them were hurting before this happened. So um, I'm hoping them the best of luck. So hopefully they can stay open and um, we can figure something out. So let's stay strong as a community. Um, like, subscribe, comment, hook me up here, share all over social media. And uh, we'll catch you next time here on Mastering MMA with Coach Lee.